All right, we're at Lake Arkabutla, June 24, about 4.30 in the morning, got the planetary alignment. You see Venus there casting a shadow on the water. And then of course you see a crescent waning gibbous moon. And to the upper right there is Mars. The bright one is Jupiter. And then if we go a little further toward the trees there, you can see Saturn about to go in the trees. Saturn looks great through the telescope. So does Jupiter. Mars still a little dim. And of course a waning crescent moon. You can see the dark side as well as the illuminated side. And then you've got Venus and then it's starting to get light on the horizon. We should see Mercury here pretty soon. Yeah, there you can see Saturn, sort of at the eyepiece, Titan to the upper right. Looking pretty good. And a few of the other moons to the lower left there. All right, it's 4.46 a.m., June 24, 2022. You can see Venus there casting a shadow on the water, Lake Arkabutla. There's your waning crescent moon. There's Mars. And there's Jupiter. And if I swing around here toward the trees, Right there, top, that's Saturn. About to lose Saturn in the trees. So we got five planets. Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Crescent Moon, Venus, and now we're going after Mercury, which should be rising on the horizon there. 4.44 a.m., June 24. 2022. All right, you're looking at Mercury, and it's about 4:50, uh, 4:48 a.m. It's trying to get it centered here, and it's low on the horizon, so very hard to get a clear image. We got some haze too, but Mercury's starting to rise here, so that's the fifth planet. There's Mercury. All right, so here's a better view of Mercury through the viewfinder of my telescope. It's starting to rise now, 4.55 a.m. See if I uh, move the telescope just a little bit. So, we go lower on the horizon. You can see Mercury. All right, so Mercury is rising somewhere there in that soup. You can just barely see it above the clouds there. Now, if I zoom out, there's Venus. There's your crescent moon, Mars, Jupiter, and then Saturn right there, about to lose it in the trees. See it's getting light now, 4.57 a.m. Lake Arkabutla, June 22, 2000, June 24, 2022. All right, here's a good look at Venus. It's kind of hard to see because it's so bright, but Venus is basically a gibbous phase right now. It goes through phases like our moon. About five o'clock in the morning, June 24. All right, here is Jupiter. You can see the four Galilean moons. Not the best shot, but Jupiter actually looks pretty good this morning. And really see the banding structure very well. 
There's Mars, 5.04 a.m. It's got a little ways to go yet. It doesn't reach opposition for another six months or so, but still not too bad. Again, more of a gibbous phase like Venus, but uh, we're gonna have to wait another six months or so for it to get brighter. All right, 5.08 a.m. You can see bright Venus there. If I zoom in, you just barely see it coming into focus. That's the planet Mercury. Getting up pretty high now. If I zoom out a little bit, you can see just how high it is above the horizon. Rising sun. And of course we got Venus, a beautiful waning crescent moon with some Earth shine. There's Mars. You barely see Mars, but it's there. And then to the bright one to the upper right is Jupiter. And if we zoom just a little bit here to the edge of the trees, there's Saturn. So we're basically seeing the solar system and the ecliptic here. Again, there's Jupiter, Mars, Crescent Moon, Venus, and I gotta zoom in here, but very low on the, or a little higher now on the horizon, you can see Mercury coming into focus. Right there. June 24. 2022, Lake Arkabutla, planetary alignment, 5.09 a.m. All right, 5.12 a.m., try to get a shot here of Mercury. If you look at it just for a second, you can actually see kind of a half phase, almost like a first quarter moon. So you really see with Mercury and Venus that they go through phases. There's another shot at Mercury. Again, if you just stare at it for a second, it's a kind of a half moon phase. Mercury and Venus go through phases just like our moon. Venus is a gibbous phase. Mercury is more is more like a uh, a quarter moon phase or a half a half um you know moon phase. So I'm Obviously, it's low on the horizon, so you see some distortion, but you really get the sense of Mercury and Venus as, as worlds, as, as planets, disks. And we'll finish with the moon, waning, waning crescent moon. Really a beautiful sight. You can see some Earth shine on the dark side. You really get the sense of the moon as a, as a world, as a sphere when you look at it through a telescope during the crescent phase. <laughs>